Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to walk you through how I created eight fun and colorful cards in under an hour. I find myself sending a lot of cards these days and I needed a bunch of cards to send. And so I decided to break out a bunch of dies and sentiment strips from Simon Says Stamp and pattern papers and just prep a bunch of things and then assemble them all together. This is a way that you can create a bunch of cards all at once. So I'm starting out with some pattern paper from Waffle Flower. This is JJ's Rainbows pack, and there are so many fun patterns in here, bright, colorful rainbows. And the thing I love about these is that it's half a sheet of eight and a half by 11. So you can actually get two card fronts out of each one of these sheets. And it's heavyweight cardstock. It's like an 80 pound cardstock. So they die cut beautifully, they layer beautifully. And if you wanted to, you could just fold one of these in half and have that be your card base too. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this particular paper pack. And Waffle Flower came out with a bunch of other patterns. Um, I'll have them linked down below or where you can go see all of them. So I love this pattern here that has like the two rainbows. You can cut it apart and have two card fronts. So I took out my paper trimmer and I cut that in half at four and one quarter inch. So now I have a bunch of pattern papers that are ready to go. I'm going to do some die cutting. I'm using the nested circles dies from Waffle Flower as well as the nested hearts from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm cutting both of these at the same time in order to save time. Uh, when I die cut all of this all at once, I only have to run it through my Gemini Junior die cutting machine just that one time and I have all these pieces. So basically what I did is I went through each one of these pattern papers with the exception of those rainbow ones because those are just going to be card fronts. And I die cut hearts and circles and just different sizes of each so that I would have lots of different pieces to choose from when I assemble my cards. I'm using this metallics pack of washi paper sheets from Die Cuts with a View, which is really interesting. I didn't realize that they were washi tape. This is my first time really using them, and I kind of really love it. And I'll mention that when I get to assembling things. But I used a silver, kind of a silver foil, and also a silver glitter. From a different paper pack from Die Cuts with a View, I grabbed a white glitter paper. And the thing that's really great about these die, cut, die cuts with a view paper pads is that all of their papers die cut beautifully. So I ran those through my die cutting machine with only hearts. I decided I would only have the heart shape for these specialty papers. Um, I would have the circles come from the pattern paper that has all the rainbow colors on them. So I die cut a bunch of those and then set them aside with all my die cuts. I then prepped four A2 card bases and four five by seven card bases. I send a lot of five by seven cards and I also send A2 cards. And so I do envelopes of both sizes and I love to send them out. I put some adhesive all on the back of these rainbow sheets. I'm using some Tombow Extreme Adhesive and I just adhered those directly to the front of these card bases. So I used some Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock for the white. I used Nina Desert Storm Environmental for the craft color. And then this black cardstock is actually cardstock that I've been testing out. And I'm hoping to tell you guys more about it soon, but it's black on one side and white on the other. So here I am kind of speeding through this video footage of assembling all of these cards because the assembly was actually really quick especially when I paired it with these sentiments from Simon Says Stamp. This is the, I think it's called the Bestie, the reverse of Bestie sentiment strips. So the, the, the words are white on black and they're perfect for cards like this when you're working things up quickly. So the washi tape sheets is really interesting. It will stick directly to your project. It really is just like washi tape, but in a sheet form that you can die cut. Really, really interesting and fun to work with. I used a ruler and an X-Acto knife um, to cut up most of these greetings. I think eventually I just went to scissors because it was faster, but I did put adhesive on the back of these die cuts uh, using a Xyron Creative Station Light. And I just want to mention that I used a die set. This one is from the Greeting Farm, um, the large hello, and then a smaller hello I die cut out of black cardstock, and that one is from Sinus Stamp. I'll have both of these dies listed down below in the supply section. 
So the larger hello, I ran through my Xeron Creative Station light to put adhesive on the back. And for the smaller hello, it actually fits inside this little Create a Sticker machine from Xeron. And I did that just because I didn't want to deal with liquid glue and dabbing all those little dots on the back of these die cuts. I thought it would be faster and easier just to put adhesive all on the back. On the back. And it turned out to be a great decision. So I removed the front clear plastic from these die cuts stickers and then I was able to adhere them directly onto my card front and for any adhesive that's like sticking out on the edges or it's not um, like it didn't come off cleanly from that sheet I was able to just use my fingertips and rub it over the surface and it took off any of that adhesive so as far as the little black sentiment strips from Simon go, I did use these narrow foam tape strips from Darius and then positioned that right over the heart. And for both of these cards, I just went with the same card design that it would be easiest, but it does have different finishes on that large heart. So I'm moving on to another card and taking a colorful striped circle, putting that on a black card base, followed by this little washi tape heart. And then I grabbed uh, one of the smaller Hello stickers that I've created and put that directly over the top. Now this one had a lot of adhesive kind of sticking around in the corners of the die cut. So I did end up trying to use a Xyron adhesive eraser and that took away all of the adhesive that was kind of hanging out around it. And then adhered that Miss You and added a white dash line with a white gel pen around the circle and also around the outer edge of this five by seven card super fast and easy. Moving on to the next card, I adhered a pattern paper heart directly into the center, and then I used some foam tape on the back of that silver glitter heart, or I think this is the white glitter actually, and then I put one of my black sentiment strips over the top. This was a super simple and easy card. It's actually one of my favorites. This next card, I took a larger heart out of pattern paper and put that directly on the front. I grabbed a washi tape heart, put that right next to it or on top, and then finished it off with that greeting. On this one, I also added a white dash line, but this time I took it around the heart. And that finishes that card. Moving on to another five by seven card with a black card base. And I did another stripe circle and just adhered that right into the center. And then I took the largest glitter heart that I cut. This is some of that silver washi tape and I put some foam adhesive behind these greetings and then took a white dash line around the outer edge. A super simple card, but also super fun and one of my favorites actually. The really simple ones are my favorite. I used a smaller circle and then that white glitter heart on some foam tape, put a little bit of liquid adhesive behind my greeting and then adhered that and added a white dash line. Another simple card. I love simple cards like this. I think I've said that about five times so far. <laughs> For my eighth and final card, I decided to have a large circle kind of hang off the edge of my card base. So I trimmed that off, added a silver washi tape heart, and then I added my little greeting. Took a white gel pen and went around the outer edge to add just a little bit of detail with that dash line. And then that finishes all eight cards. In total, this took me 52 minutes to create all eight of these cards. And I'm so excited to get these into the mail. Um, I love doing one-off cards that are very unique and um, there's only, they're one of a kind. But I also really love to make kind of big batches of cards like this. Just a reminder that all of the supplies I used are listed down in the supply section. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in another video very soon.